please. Make sure you underline it in your ruler. And the date today is the 4th of March. Copy the aim which I'm reading to you now. To understand how the poet creates a Gothic atmosphere. So a couple of questions come up immediately from this. Firstly, just by a show of hands, has anyone read the listeners before? You've heard of it, okay? And secondly, hands up, can anyone tell me what we mean by gothic? What's gothic? Laura? Um, horror. Horror, excellent. Is anyone still copying the game? No. Okay, we'll wait just a moment more. On the next slide, I've got some horror images. But they're, yeah, they're not, they're not frightening ones, they're of ghosts. Okay? What I would like you to do is think about the words and associations which come to mind. Let's split you up so that we're differentiating our response. So, the back row, I want you to think about the sights, the things that you see. Second from back row, I want you to think about the sounds. What types of sounds might exist in the images that you look at? Third row, and we'll include Samir and Iman in this third row, so it's four tables. I want you to think about emotions, feelings. What types of emotions and feelings do you come up with when you look at the images? And this row, you've got the hardest one, toughest one. I want you to think about textures and touch. What other sensations might there be within these images? What might it be, what might it feel like in terms of uh, the sensations against your skin to be in these pictures? Easy. Well, let's have a think. It's up to you, Ferris. You've got two minutes. Off you go. Um, am I sights or...? You are sights. It's sights, sounds, emotions, then the front row is textures and touch. Uh, no, we will be able to write. I can't see them. I can't see them. You want to Yes, so we've got sights and sounds. Emotions. Yes, you can do for sure. Everything you have seen. Very good, exactly right. Check your spending distance here. And remember the line of sight. The spending is over here. I oh dear, do you need a new prescription blue glasses? I just got one recently. Ah, can I have a look at the title? Perfect. Remember what to say, please, so you can keep track of our work. Yes, absolutely. Yes, I suppose it has to be said that they can follow it. Thank you. We write like That's what we think will be. Rob, put hands up rather than falling out, because I'm coming around the class. So you need to wait till I come back around. Yes. I know it is, but it doesn't mean that the writing is 
if something is horrifying, that means we felt horror. That's fine. It's not horrifying. A lot of people, I'm still reminding to underline that title. You should be proud to present your work. It reflects you and the work you do in English. So make sure you're always focusing on your presentation too. Your presentation. So let's get some ideas up. Let's start with the sites. What do we see here? Oh, no. Very good vocabulary. What do you mean by teleportation? Um, how the ghosts are walking through the wall to get to the other side. Nice. So teleportation is when you move from one place to another instantaneously. And that's something we can't do as humans, but perhaps ghosts would be able to do. Rob? Uh, I think it would be old because it's in black and white. Okay, so you can see old things. Can you give me a more interesting piece of vocabulary to represent the idea of old. Um, so a synonym for old. Classic. Classic. Ancient. Ancient. Antique. Antique. Ooh. Let's go for historic is nice. I'm going to go for ancient, but they are all lovely synonyms. Other sites. Um, uh, uh, dark rooms. Dark rooms. So the view inside the house is illuminated. Okay, so you're going to have a source of light from somewhere. There's a dark room, but what kind of light will be coming through the window in a horror scene? Is it going to be bright sunlight? Eerie, Eerie light. Let's say, okay, eerie is really nice vocabulary, so let's put it up. Eerie, eerie light. That word mean? It means strange or unusual. Yeah. Final sights. Uh, Izzy, sorry, I didn't hear from you. Yeah, possibly the most obvious one, the ghosts. The ghosts, ghosts. themselves, good. Does anyone know synonyms for the word ghosts? We don't have to call them a ghost. We can say ghouls, ghouls phantoms, phantoms, scepters. scepters Dead. Dead. <laughs> yeah. Souls. Souls. Very good. Dead. Undead. The undead, like the zombie. Yeah. Creatures. Creatures. Creatures of the night. Um, Final one. But I, I, I have a question. Um, is that third image an actual ghost? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Image or do you think that's a? Um, no, it's doctors. It's, it's not. A, no, it's not a simple photograph. Sounds we're on to. Barris, we're going to come to your, your road last. Sounds we're on to. Yes, sir. Crying. Crying. Ben. Oh, God. 
Screaming. Paris, can you make sure you're able to open the party to share an idea, please? Say. Uh, footsteps. Footsteps. Eva. And in the biggest picture, they're walking past the tree, so the wind could be howling and the leaves could be falling on the ground. Very nice. Okay. Bit of personification there, the wind howling. Uh, wolves howling. Wolves howling, or yeah. Owls. Or owls hooting. <laughs> Mahavid? A demonic laugh. A demonic laugh. Good <laughs> adjective. <laughs> We're well, on to the next row now. Emotions, feelings. No, no. Well, you're kind of creeped out, you know Creeped out? Yeah, kind of Arthur? Um, shock. Shock? Uh, I'm curious. Curious. So you might actually want to find out more about these features. Fear. Uh, sorry, wrong way. Here we are. Concentrated. Oh, can you explain that? Concentrated. The goal is to the biggest picture of concentrated. Okay, I like that. As if they've got one mission in mind. Yeah. Surprised. And how are you going to do this right now? I would be begging for mercy. Ah, so you'd be begging for mercy. <laughs> if you're begging for mercy, what emotion are you going to be feeling? Scared. Scared or frightened. So that does tie to our gothic ideas. Final group then. I think this is the toughest one. Textures and touch. Matthew. Uh, you're being watched feeling. Okay, you feel you're being watched. Okay, you feel strange. That might be more of an emotion. Um, I will like the ghost. Yeah. Feels, uh, feels like the air. Feels like the air. Cool. Because they don't have a physical presence, perhaps. It's almost like they're just the air. You can put your hand through. Well, the ghosts are spirits of dead people. They feel like they feel so soft. So though anything passes through them. They are spirits of the dead. Okay, very good, Paris. Arthur? Ectoplasm. That's lovely vocabulary, ectoplasm. What, what, do, you mean, what, what do you mean by ectoplasm? Ectoplasm is juice. 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 Very good. It's juicy. It's yummy. Um, it chills out your spine. It chills out your spine. Because they feel like cold air. Yes, cold air. Do we have cold? No, let's put that temperature. Finally, Iman. Okay, so sign the two nice forwards in three, two, one, thank you. So you're quite right, we call that being petrified. If you're so scared that you can't move, then you're petrified. So let's read through the poem and see which of these words and ideas are within it. As we read, I want you to be actively reading so that you're deepening your understanding of the poem. We'll read it through twice, first with you, second time with me. As we read, and you might want to wait till the second time, underline three words or phrases which you feel create a gothic atmosphere. Circle three words which you'd like to check the meaning of in a dictionary. Can you each put dictionaries on your tables? And finally, draw a star next to each of the stanzas where the traveller speaks. So where the traveller actually speaks, I want you to draw a star next to that stanza. So we've got nine stanzas, let me choose nine readers. Thank you to one, thank you to two, thank you to three, thank you to four, uh, thank you to five, you're number five, thank you to six, thank you to seven, thank you to eight, I think we have nine. Okay? So we've got nine readers. The rest of you will have a chance to read in another lesson. Don't worry. What if there's less than three words that we have to read? Less than three. That's fine. 
If you've got, if there aren't any questions that you have about meetings, just circle the ones that you're concerned with.